Hello everyone, this is Pragya Satpathi. In my previous video, I have explained the first part of the project management application that is create a project using various controls in the Power App screen and all the inputs getting saved in the SharePoint list. In this video, I will explain how we can display all the information of the project in one screen. For this, we have customized three galleries together in one screen. The left side of the screen displays the project information which we have saved in the previous video and it extracted from the SharePoint list and the right side it displays a nested gallery in which the task gallery is nested within the phase gallery and we have used the concept of multiple expand collapse of Power Apps nested gallery to place all the tasks of the phases and all the phases of the project in one gallery. So let's see how the expand and collapse work on this. So let me collapse the phases. You can see all the phases are collapsed here. And let me expand all the phases. You can see all the phases can be expandable at one time. So let's see how we can build this. So let's get started. Let's close here the play mode. Adding a new screen. Adding here a rectangle. Let's set its height to 60 and color hex code to 001060 adding a blank vertical gallery for the left panel project information and set its width to 400 and height to 300 and again i will add a blank flexible height gallery let's set its color to E E F three for identification. Let's add a child gallery inside this gallery. Add a blank vertical gallery. Let it is first change its color to white and set its Y just below the main gallery now just play and see the parent and child gallery here inside a label here just above the rectangle add its text property to projects added another level above the face gallery and added a text property as faces and tasks after this, I will add, edit and add the project gallery information like adding a label here. Uh, and this is by default this item dot title. I will just change this to project name. This will be a column name of my second list. As I have added here the gallery of the SharePoint list and filtered it as of the ID is equal to the project selected from the previous screen. Similarly, I will add other labels. So here I have already extracted all the information from the SharePoint list and added in the gallery. In the project, I have added all the information required and in the phase and task gallery, I have created a temporary collection on the on visible of the screen. Temporary collection that is for phases that is called phase under project. It filters all the phases under the project as the ID is filtered here. Similarly, created a temporary collection for task that is called task under phase, which filters all the task under the project so when i add 
in the face gallery the temporary collection it displays all the pages on under the project these are the four pages under the project similarly when i have added this call task under page it filters all the task let me show the task name it filters all the task under this project this uh, filter this collection with page name dot id which will be equal to this item dot id or the task id so here we achieved all the task under the pages so i will edit the main page gallery and add a icon here up arrow and another icon down arrow as we are going to do the expand and collapse this phase and task gallery on the on select property of the expand icon i will just create a temporary collection name as selected is name id and in this collection i will store the id is this item dot id so the concept here is why we have made the collection is it will count the rows the number of rows which are expanded will be collected in the collection so i have added this code on the on select property of expand icon and similarly on the on select property of the collapse icon the pages which are selected to collapse they will be removed from the collection now let's set the height of the task gallery its count rows it means how many rows in the task or how many task we have so the task under page gallery dot all items and it multiplies with the template height of this gallery so it's task on the face dot template height and again it multiplication with the same filtered selected page and now we will see the height of the one phase is set here so let me expand another phase and let me collapse this phase this middle scroll bar the child gallery scroll bar we can do a bit padding in the template height when we are multiplying in this case the middle child gallery scroll bar is removed and we have only one scroll bar that is face scroll bar now i have placed both the expand icon and uh, collapse icon one above each like x and y properties are same now set the expand icon visible property will count the rows if the collection id is equal to this item dot id then the expand icon will not be visible 
Similarly, the collapse icon, let's say the opposite property of the expand icon. Now, let us play the window. Here, all the expand icon are visible beside the face name. So, let me expand one. Here, the collapse icon is visible if I expand the face and rest of the three pages expand icon are visible. So in this way we can achieve multiple expand collapse of Power Apps nested gallery and I hope the concept will be helpful for you to implement on your application and I hope you will join with me for more tips and tricks on Power Apps. Thank you.